So this is a pretty important video and I'm going to be essentially signaling to you guys that I might be changing a big chunk of what I focus here, uh, what I focus on here on my YouTube channel. And this all revolves around the latest developments in AI. So many of you, maybe all of you have been hearing about all the exciting things happening in the AI space, all the chat bots, all the new apps, all the developments and plugins and all the new ways the AI is essentially allowing us to be more productive, right? Of course, there's that scary side of that, which sort of, it seems to be threatening all of us in every single industry all over the place. And there's also the exciting part of that, to think that, wow, we could really unlock some amazing potential within ourselves and solve some really cool problems with this exponential technology at our fingertips. So it is a sort of dual-edged um, sword there. But I think, especially in the last couple of weeks, of, as I've been doing some deeper dives into the world of AI, it's dawning on me fairly quickly that uh, our industry, sync licensing, music production, and just creating music in general, is going to be heavily, heavily disrupted, like massively disrupted. How soon? That remains to be seen. It could be still a few years out. It could be starting to happen this year. That's one of those things nobody really knows. Um, even though a, a technology is available and ready to be used, doesn't mean the entire world sort of immediately adopts it and starts using it and it starts immediately uh, disrupting everything. So there are a lot of variables for that kind of a calculation and I don't really think I can give you an educated guess on when that's gonna happen. But uh, as I've been talking with Mike and Trevor about this, and if you missed my interviews with them, I will actually link them below um, in the description box of this video. Really great chats with both of those guys. Um, it's really just, it's apparent to me now that AI has really kind of crept up on me. I have definitely not done my due diligence in terms of keeping up with the research and seeing what's happening, especially when it comes to what apps and, and technologies are going to affect us as music creators. And as I've been going further into this stuff, I'm starting to see that uh, this stuff is developing much faster than I had anticipated. I think previously I had this assumption that maybe it would be five to 10 years into the future before we would have something that you could literally click a button or type something in and music would come out the other end of it. But I'm realizing that now, 2023, that technology does exist. The music, the music that's coming up with is not perfect. It's not great. I wouldn't call it licensable. It's not there. But these technologies are going to improve, right? Like you guys all understand that, that these, the, what you're hearing out there and maybe what you've been seeing is just the sort of iPhone one version of it. So it's obviously going to get better, how quickly it'll get better, you know, that'll, that'll also remain to be seen. Um, but I think it would be very, very negligent on my part to just sort of not address that <laughs> because I really do think AI is going to be the biggest revolution, tech revolution in the history of humanity, right? Um, it's just going to be that. There's really no other way to say it. It's going to make the internet revolution look like nothing. Um, it's really going to revolutionize and completely turn our entire world uh, on its head and have us reorganize and rethink how we structure society and also our ourselves and like our identities. Like this is really going to be a massive shift in our sort of consciousness as a species, okay? Not to get too deep on you here early in the morning, but it's definitely gonna be happening. And so I feel a responsibility and really kind of an obligation to now kind of pick up for the lost time for basically sort of not being so on top of this stuff, but really now diving headfirst into this technology and getting curious about it, getting open about it, and understanding what it can do, how it can potentially affect us, and what we need to do to stay on top of the trend, right? Because what I don't want you guys to do is be unprepared for this sort of big wave of tech change coming and a lot of you guys find yourself sort of drowning in it because it's overwhelming and you don't know what to do and how to adjust to it. So I really do feel like a part of my responsibility here, having a, a bit of a voice online, especially in the music producer community, is to try to lead the way a little bit that way, or at least show some curiosity alongside with you guys. I really have to let you know I don't know how to navigate these waters. This isn't like sync licensing for me where, you know, I've had all this experience and I kind of know what works. I sort of got a formula for how to show you guys what to do. AI is the wild west. Nobody really knows. Everybody's got these ideas of what's going to happen and everybody's just guessing and I am as well. So, but I think the way to win in this scenario because there's so much uncertainty is to create that curiosity within yourself and create that openness. So that's really what I want to do. A lot of my videos moving forward on this channel are going to be dedicated 
to the new tools uh, that are coming on board using AI technology, my thoughts about what could really disrupt us, what could basically be come in and, and threaten sort of our potential uh, income, what if we can do anything about that, and if we can't, what we might need to do to sort of sidestep and adjust and maybe even look outside of the traditional TV film sync licensing market to try to create some income for ourselves. So I know this is going to be challenging. It's definitely for me. It's already really, really challenging me uh, and making me kind of let go of a lot of the things that I thought were, no, that's just how things should always be. Well, if they're not going to be that way soon and I can't control that, I need to get with the program. So that's kind of what I want to do for you guys. Um, all of my previous videos, I have like 900 videos on sync licensing. They're not going to go anywhere, so don't worry. You'll always have that huge library of content you can always go to um, and get access to any information you want. And also, really, really important, I am not recommending you guys like today give up on sync licensing and say, well, AI is going to just destroy it all and it's there's no hope for it, so let's just bail right now. Please don't take that message from this video. That is not what I'm saying. Here's what I am saying. I'm saying that if you are going 100% at sync licensing right now, let's say you got 10 toes in the waters, so to speak, of sync licensing, just take out one pinky toe, just one of your toes, and dip it in the waters of AI technology, okay? So 10% of your time, energy, effort, and curiosity should go for, hmm, what's going on over here with this AI stuff? I'm gonna spend a lot more than 10% of my time getting curious about it, but you don't have to, okay? So that's what I'm gonna to try to provide for you guys is to keep you updated on this technology and also help to clear out all the noise. There is so much stuff happening in this space right now, especially as I've been following it, and it's it's very confusing and it's hard to make sense because the, the developments and the new things that are coming up online makes you think, well, I just learned about this app and that app's already outdated because it's been 24 hours. I mean, it is so quick right now. So I want to make sure and I, I want to do my best to try to cr create sort of some clarity and some calmness in the sort of uh, chaos and the calamity that's going on out there right now uh, with all of this new tech. And don't give up on sync licensing. Sync licensing is still strong. Nothing has come in as of today and disrupted anything that we've been doing, okay? So everything that I've taught you guys, keep doing that. Keep partnering with high quality libraries, keep making high quality music, keep doing all the things that I've been basically coaching you guys for the last six years, okay? I do not recommend you just bail on everything. And I, I here's, what, here's one of my predictions I'll give you on this video. I don't think that you're gonna basically wake up one day and be doing sync licensing, and then the next day you wake up and go, oh, okay, well, that's all done. I'm now doing AI music creation. I don't see it happening that radically, okay? I think what's gonna happen is it'll be a sort of slow creep, okay? So a bit of AI technology will make its way into the either music creation process or into the TV film world in some, you know, various ways, probably multiple ways. And what you'll start noticing is people that are adapting and using that technology will start to like 10X or 100 times their productivity and they'll start getting more placements and they'll start doing better work and they'll be able to exponentially expand their catalogs or their reach or whatever it's going to provide for them, right? And you and I, hopefully, what we'll be able to do is keep on top of that, okay? So as time goes on, the, the amount of time you're start pro probably spending in your traditional DAW uh, producing approach will probably start to get smaller and smaller and smaller until the point where, I don't know, a few years down the road, maybe five, it could be even sooner than that, I don't know, DAWs will probably be outdated. You know, this idea of opening up a DAW and having to kind of stack everything and automate stuff and all that, that might seem like outdated technology within a couple of years. That's that's where I see this stuff going. So I wanna make sure that you guys are well prepared for that so that as that creep comes into our industry, you're not left behind and you're not feeling that sense of dread and that sense of like, oh, what's the point of anything? Like that futility that we can kind of feel sometimes when you see a robot doing our job sometimes even better than we can do. So that's, that's really what I wanna do all this for. Now I know I might lose some of you guys. I know that making this choice and moving forward with this direction, some of you are not gonna go along for the ride with me. Some of you feel differently about AI. Uh, you might feel that I'm a little bit miscalculated here or that I'm delusional or something like that. And I respect that, I totally get it. I'll be sad, of course, to see you go. Um, but I really have put a lot of thought into this and I don't think I'm wrong. I really don't think that ignoring AI right now is the smart move. Uh, if we've seen anything about the history of technology, you guys remember the record labels in the late 90s, were they really doing anything about the internet and MP3s and Napster and all those file sharing networks? No, they decided to eventually start suing their customers. That's what they started to do, right? They didn't adapt, they didn't get curious, right? They didn't get open to it, they didn't start to incorporate that technology into their business model. And look at record labels today. 
How powerful are they? How, how you know, they're laying people off left and right. I just saw an article about that. Uh, they have lost all of their pretty much relevance and importance. These days, obviously, we've seen so many artists blow up and do great without a record label. Okay, so record labels, don't be, you don't want to be the record label of 2023. Okay, so that's that's my big pitch to you. Let's learn from history and let's make sure that we don't sort of drag our feet or, or make the mistake of underestimating technology and going, well, that AI stuff won't really affect me. Yes, it will. I don't care what your job is. I don't care what you do. It will affect everything, like literally everything that we do, okay? And not everybody is going to go along for this. A lot, a lot, not a lot of people are going to get curious and open about it. And that's what's going to be kind of sad, I think, because I think a lot of people will feel either left behind, you know, and that'll give them that feeling of just futility and dread and kind of depression, or they will literally, you know, kind of... Um, split off and go like, well, I'm just refusing to use any AI tools because I'm a purist, right? I'm somebody that will only use the traditional methods or whatever, which is ironic about that is that creating music with a computer and a DAW, <laughs> that's only traditional because we've been doing it in our lifetime. Go talk to our music producer from the 70s and the 80s, right? Were they having all of this amazing, you know, technology and sound and the internet at their fingertips and all these, you know, cloud-based sound services? No. So there's no such thing as a quote unquote traditional purist way to create music. We're just reinventing tools every single generation. That's basically what we're doing. And that's what AI is going to be is a new generation of tools for new creators to make music, okay? Um, for those of you that are willing to go along with this ride with me, getting curious with me and kind of sharing with the community of what we're going to learn here, I believe there's huge, huge opportunity just around the corner for us, okay? I don't know exactly what that opportunity will be. I don't know how, what form it'll come in. I don't know what skills we'll need to take advantage of those opportunities. I don't have any of those answers for you guys, okay? I don't think anybody does because it's such a new thing. But I do know, this is what I do know, it's only those of us that are going to be open and curious about this technology that'll even see the opportunity, right? If your head is down or you got your blinders on or whatever, you will not see, you know, a massive, maybe huge, you know, multi-million dollar, a billion dollar industry that you could literally start yourself. That's the power of AI stuff. It's not going to surprise me that within the next couple of years, a 24-year-old, a single 24-year-old will put Google out of business or at least put one part of Google's product line out of business. You can even mark that as a prediction for me. That's what's happening with AI. It, it's that powerful. It basically blows everything we've done out of the water and it makes everything that we've been doing up to now seem like child's play, okay? So um, I definitely want you to comment below. I want to know your thoughts on this. I know this is going to be kind of a big change. Um, and again, I will keep you guys updated on anything that's sort of sync related, of course. It's not like I'm going to just abandon sync licensing here on the channel. So if something big pops up on the... Um, uh, you know, in the news about our industry, or there's a new comment or question that maybe I haven't really addressed, I'll put it up on the channel. So we're, we're still going to keep that sync conversation going. I just feel at this point, you know, about 900 videos into that, um, I feel like I've covered almost everything that I possibly can. So I, I'm almost kind of running out of stuff to really talk about about sync licensing. But this AI stuff is really fresh. It's really new and it's very relevant. And this is the time right now to get very curious about it. Um, check out my video coming out this Wednesday in two days from today. I'm going to put together a sort of comprehensive overview of AI, where we are right now with the tools that are available, like what can actually be done um, and why I feel that this is something that we should be taking very seriously right now and definitely opening our eyes up to and starting to adopt and get curious about this technology. Um, right now is not a time to make any decisions in terms of, all right, what should I abandon and what technology should I use and how should I completely, you don't have to make any choices right now. We don't really know what's really gonna turn out at the end of all this kind of stuff, but this is the time and this is really the cool time to be curious. I call it just like play time. This is just play, you know, be playful essentially. Find new technologies and that's what I'm gonna try to bring to you guys here on the, on the channel. Play with them, download them, go to their websites, manipulate them, type in with them, touch their buttons, do whatever you can, just like with your DAWs. Play around with stuff. The more that you actually put your hands on this technology, the more you'll start to feel and realize what it can actually do and what your possibilities and maybe open up some new ideas for you on how you can adjust your strategy for your music career moving forward because this is going to be challenging stuff. This is going to be exciting, but very, very challenging stuff. So right now, take that burden off yourself. You don't have to make any decisions. You don't have to do anything. Just start playing with stuff. It's just getting curious and start playing with these new tools. So that's what I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below. Let me know what you think. Am I on the right track? Do you think I'm delusional? Do you not really care? Did I make too much of a big deal out of this and made this long video about this that didn't really require this? I don't care what your comment is. I really want to hear where you guys are at with this topic.